Okay, so in light of recent events, uh, we want to test this out and make sure it is still operating properly and how it should. And that's basically what happens when you ignore autopilot. You ignore the nags, you ignore the lights, you just ignore it all together. Say you're distracted by something or anything for that matter, what does it do? Yeah, I know that you tested this, uh, I believe on your first car, yep. Autopilot 1. I can't remember if we've done a video on it with Autopilot 2, but if either way, it's been a while since we've tested it. So we're yep. going to go ahead and test it today with the firmware. We, we haven't gotten the latest 2018.12 update, so we're going to be testing it with 2018.10.4, which is the update that's been out for the last few weeks. Yo, so we're going to go ahead and see what exactly happens and we just ignore it all together. Um, and then we'll run through it a few times and see if maybe if the radio volume's up, if it mutes it, will we still yeah. be able to hear the audio nag? And uh, just a couple other scenarios. So I guess without further ado, let's start the test. Yeah, so this one we're gonna go without any sound, just so that we can hear exactly what it sounds like, what it looks like, a little bit of everything. And we're set it right to the speed limit on this road is 40 miles per hour, so that's how fast we're going. Go. There's a slight curve on this, but luckily uh, autopilot is able to handle. I think it's been able to handle this curve for a while, though. It's yeah. Not that. This curve's not that bad. Yeah. Yeah, and usually not a lot of trouble. Okay, so we're getting the hold steering wheel, but I'm not. Secret's out. Yeah, and that was uh, so many seconds. I guess we'll find out. Mm. Okay, so hold steering wheel. We're not doing it. Okay, first. Beep. Beep. Still flashing. Flashing faster. Yeah, it's flashing really fast. Oh, a bit oh. louder. Holy cow. Yeah. It's already started slowing down. Okay. Wow. wow, that that was pretty quick actually. I was surprised yeah. once it uh, did that. And the hazards are on. Flashing red, uh, hold, take hold of steering wheel, resume cruise. Okay, that was faster than I expected. That beeping was getting very annoying. Yes. Very, very loud. Like, I, you can't miss that. And it, and it only had like one warning beep. Wasn't it only like one warning beep before it started doing it constantly or? Uh, I we'll, believe so, yeah. We'll watch, we'll, we'll try it again and see. But uh, it stopped sooner than I thought. I thought it was gonna do a few more warnings before it did that, but. Okay, yeah, it definitely was increasing in volume. The first beep wasn't that loud. The next beeps were very loud. Yeah. Like I have probably maxed out the volume. It, it was annoying. Very. It would definitely get my attention. Yeah. If That's you were, for sure. If you were talking yeah. with someone or doing, you know, not paying attention as you should. Yeah. And the one thing to notice too is we saw that popped up on the screen. It did say autopilot unavailable for the rest of this drive. So I still have TAC or like cruise control, but it does say auto steer yeah. unavailable. You got punished. Um, so I got punished. Hopefully that's not getting reported back to Tesla and they're like, look at this kid. Yeah. So I guess we'll find out. Well, it looks time. like it worked. That was but, yep, good. I it definitely worked. So now what we are going to do is do that same thing, but we are going to have the music up. I have some NCS music here. So we're gonna turn that up pretty loud and see if it mutes the music or what. Is it still audible from the music, etc. Because you never know. Okay, so we are now starting the second one when we're gonna have the music up. So found some pretty loud music, so we're gonna go ahead and turn that on. I'll maybe mute it a little bit for you guys. We're at volume level six. It's very suspenseful music too, it's very appropriate. Okay, we bumped it up to seven. Okay, hold steering wheel, but we're not going to do it. 
Okay, it's flashing faster. Oh, it muted oh, it. It muted it, okay. One beep and a mute. A few more seconds. Should stop pretty soon. There we go. Totally muted. Oh, brought the music back. We're going farther this time, it seems. Slightly farther. Oh, and we're done. Yep. Okay, so it does, it does mute it, which is what we wanted to yep. see. It slows us down very, very quickly. Yeah. I mean, we weren't going super fast, but yes, it definitely worked and came to a complete stop. And it still has the flashers going, hazard lights, and it was still muted. And we can still have that beeping. Yo. Okay, so. It definitely worked. Definitely worked, which is great to see. Clearly, there is not something that we have seen that would have been overlooked. I mean, they clearly thought about most cases, such as having the music too loud. That way it mutes it, and it does audible and visual warnings. Yep. So uh, definitely looks like they're still in play and working just fine. Yep. So, but as always, if you are in autopilot, please drive carefully. Autopilot technically is still considered in beta, and when you do check it to be able to use it, you are saying that you will still be responsible for the vehicle. And also, every time you do enable autopilot, it does say keep your hands on the wheel while in autopilot. So just please be careful if you're using it, keep an eye out on roads. Pay attention, you're still, I mean, it does help you on those road trips or, yep. or in traffic, stop and go traffic, but you are still uh, supposed to pay attention and uh, definitely keep control of the car. Yep. As always, uh, definitely check out our website, teslainventory.com if you are looking for a Tesla. If you're looking for a newer inventory, Model S or X, feel free to use our referral code. It's down in the description below and at the top of our webpage using it will actually get you free unlimited supercharging for the life of your vehicle which is an awesome perk to have and if you do use our code definitely send us an email through the website that way we have your contact info so when we take delivery of our next gen roadster we can invite you guys out do some test rides test drives because really without your support none of this would be possible but definitely thumbs up if you enjoyed the video let us know in the comment section below what your experience has been have you ever actually been kicked out of autopilot go and click here to subscribe here for some other videos and we'll see you in the next one Bye.